So I've received this device, which is called a hyperchlorous acid machine. Now just disregard what it says there because as you know, Chinese products are often mislabeled and stuff. So what this really is, is a bottle in which you fill with water or rather with salt water. And what it does is it breaks down the sodium chloride. So as you can see the um, chemical formula there, sodium chloride into um, uses electrolysis to split that into um, what do you call it chlorine and hydrogen gas so this is the unit and I filled it up with salt water so it's got electrodes at the bottom that will perform the electrolysis and it's powered by micro USB so I've got my power bank here and I'm going to hook it up and Turn it on for the very first time. Yeah, I figured out the issue was at this end. The uh, supplied USB cables connector is a bit too fat to fit between the uh, the top and bottom part of the power bank. But I've got it in now. And the reason I know it's in is because when I shoved it in, um, the LEDs here kind of flash with different colors. So now I'm going to press the power button again. Oh, that's not really good. Oh, there we go. So now we see the blue light and we can see the hydrogen being produced. Oh, we've got to do something. Um, so for safety reasons, we should loosen the top to avoid the uh, hydrogen gas building up and blowing the, the bottle right, up. So now I've loosened the top just so that the hydrogen gas can vent out to the atmosphere. And if you, you trap this gas and ignite it it will it will pop uh, so this process apparently takes eight minutes to complete so I'm just gonna let it run and after eight minutes we should get a solution of chlorine water that can be sprayed onto surfaces for the purpose of disinfection okay so now the process is complete and we have chlorine water so this is a quick way to make a bottle of disinfectant using nothing but water and table salt.